In this video, we'll learn to identify and know the equivalence between fractions, decimals and percentages. There are main fractions, decimals and percentages such as 10%, which you should know as a fraction, as well as a decimal, 25%, 12.5%, 50, 75, 80%, 60 and so on. So. What I'll try and do is show how to convert between a fraction to a decimal and percentage, between decimals, fractions and percentages, and between percentages to fractions and decimals. So that you can work with you can work with any of these fractions, decimals and percentages, not just the common ones. So I'll start with fractions. So let's say if I have three eighths, for example, and I want to convert it to a decimal or to a percentage, if I want to convert it to a decimal, all I have to do is three divided by eight. As I've shown before, that line in the middle means division, and it's like the division sign in a calculator. So there is a number at the top divided by the number at the bottom that this is the button that represents it. So I would go three divided by eight because it's three out of eight and it means the same thing. So three divided by eight equals, that gives me a decimal, so 0 0.375. So I've converted it to a decimal. All I did was divide three by eight. Now, if I want it as a percentage, so we've related this to money before and I like to relate it to money again. So if I was given this amount with a pound sign in front, I would see that I'd have 37 pence and half a penny. So that is pence, 37 pence, because pence is out of a hundred, which makes a pound. It's the same thing, pence and percentage. So this is 37.5%. So pence and percent. But also, if you like working it out, you could just multiply it by a hundred and it gives you the same number. So, but the easiest way to do it, just by looking at this, okay, the two digits after show me how many pens there are when you look at money. So that would be 37.5%. So the same thing would be really applicable if you had any other fraction. So I will try out another one, let's say um, seven out of 25. So 7 divided by 25, 7 divided by 25, and you could do this division by hand if you didn't have a calculator. So that is 0 0.28, so I've got it as a decimal already. And then we said two digits after the decimal point, so that is 28%. It's like 28 pence in a pound. If we have, so we've converted fractions to decimals, and to percentages. So if I was asked to convert a fraction to percentage, I would go through having it as a decimal first and then into a percentage. If I just wanted a decimal, so a fraction to a decimal, just divide it and have it like this, or this. Now, if we have a decimal, how do we turn it into a fraction or percentage? If I have a decimal, let's say 0. 3, 5. What is this as a percentage? As a percentage is very easy to work out because we've got 0 0.35 as, as I said two decimal places and we get 35%. It's like 35 pence. If we want to convert it into a fraction so 0 0.35 it is, as I said, 35 pence in a pound, so 35 pence out of 100. 
So you could have it like this, or you could simplify it further because this can actually be simplified. And 35, 5 is a number that goes into both of them. So 35 divided by 5 gives us 7, and 100 divided by 5 gives us 20. Now, at this point, we can't go any further, so we've got to leave it as 7 over 20, or 7 twentieths. And the same thing if I picked 0 0.125, for example, this is going to be 12.5%. And if I convert it into a fraction, it is now not 125 over 100, but it's 125 over 1,000. So look at the digits, there are three, so the number underneath needs to have the same number of zeros. So look at that, two digits, two zeros. It's a bit like having 125 millilitres in a litre. So that is what is happening here. And again, now 125 over 1000, we could simplify this further. And immediately I can see that 5 is a number that go into both of them. Because multiples of 5 or numbers that can be multiplied by 5 would have an answer of ending in 5 or 0. So if I divide this by 5, that would be into 10 would go 2 of them, and we'd have 2 remaining. Then into 25, that would be 5 of them. Now, trying to fit 5s into 1000, that would be 200 of them. So that means we can still simplify this. And then again, 5 could go into both of them. So this would be 5. And if I divide this by 5, it's going to give me 40. So again, we can divide by 5. So that's going to be 1. And this is going to be 8. So when it comes to percentages then, Let's say we have 4% and we'll convert this into decimal and fraction. So to convert it into a decimal, it's very easy because it's, as I said, 4% is like 4 pence. How do you write 4 pence? And I'll write this like that. So imagine a pound sign in front. And to write this as a fraction so four percent as i said percent means out of a hundred so that is four out of a hundred so this is a fraction already but if you want to simplify it further then i can see that i can divide this both by four so that's going to be a one because four divided by four gives me one 100 divided by 4 gives me 25, so 1 over 25. Let's try another one. So let's say if we have maybe 150%, so maybe an increase from 100%, half added on top. So now 150 pence, how do you write that with money notation? That would be 1.50 or just 1.5. So that's this as a decimal and 150% as a fraction, it would be 150, we said percent means out of 100, so 150 out of 100. Now I can divide this both by 10, so it's going to be 15 out of 10 and I can divide them by 5, so this would be 3 over 2. So. 3 over 2 would be the fraction that represents 150%. So we've looked at how to convert fractions into decimals and percentages. We've looked at how to convert decimals into percentages and fractions, simplified fractions as well, not just fractions, because we had them originally into these fractions, and then we simplified them most of the time. And we have then percentages, which we turned into decimals and 
fractions. So through this then you can identify and know the equivalence between fractions, decimals and percentages.